Hi there, you're watching Duke is Copy TV. I'm Elaine Stenson. The Federal Reserve has proposed new liquidity requirements for large US banks that are aimed at helping them withstand a credit crunch and prevent another financial crisis. Bob Slade, Managing Director of FXDD in New York, joins me on the line now. Bob, what's your response to this? Do you think that this is absolutely necessary? But I think that the need for regulations is worthwhile. As we saw what happened during 2008, and we need to make sure that liquidity and the gears don't stop running, which is what happened. What benefits might we see? I think the benefits that you'll see is certainly there will be a much, much more favorable, and not only in the United States, but this sort of goes uh, worldwide with the whole global and the basal uh, programs that are being placed out of Europe. This is the benefit of not, of not having such a nervousness in the marketplace if banks are going to be able to absorb tight credit situations. And if the world, yet alone the United States, can alleviate that, I think you'll have people feeling at least better and more confident in the financial system globally. Bob, the U.S. has been tougher on standards than regulators in Europe. Should banks in other countries be doing this also? U.S. banks have been shoring up their capital positions pretty strongly since 2008. So there shouldn't be any major impact, per se, on the banking sectors. And I know that with the Basel uh, um, agreements going on in Europe, they're also looking for those banks to shore up. So, yes, it does look like certainly the U.S. and Europe, and I believe China and other countries, Japanese, are all also realizing that they need to make sure there's strength behind the capital because it didn't just happen in US it didn't happen in Europe as you and I know it hit the global world hard Fed officials estimate banks face a 200 billion dollar shortfall out of the 2 trillion dollar in high quality assets needed in meeting the liquidity requirements do you think banks will face this level of difficulty bob you know, with the banks needing this $200 billion, and they do have till 2017 to meet these new requirements, um, which is actually a two years before the new, the, the new Basel, uh, Basel rules will take effect. The larger banks should not having, have a problem meeting the shortfall. What I think you'll be more concerned is about, say, the medium-sized bank, the $50 billion-ish type of bank and stuff. They're the ones who are, are not as internationally involved, and they're the ones that we'll see having more, not, not difficulty, but we'll certainly have to go to other sources to meet these, uh, these needs, both in the U.S. and I believe the same thing will happen shortly in Europe. Okay, Bob Slade from FXDD in New York, thank you for joining me on the line today. And that's all for me for now, but the team will be back with more throughout the week. Bye for now.